So in this video we will study about some examples how to solve the questions related to the first order reaction and uh, t to calculate the t half and the rate constant k. So this is our first order reaction equation natural log a t equal to minus k t and natural log a zero. This is the graph and this is equation. This equation is in the form of exponential term or anti log term. So the first question is this the data for the gaseous phase of reaction of uh, s 2 nitrile CS3 CN CS3 and, C and NC it's a uh, isocyanide is uh, provided in the plot for the reaction or first order reaction find the rate constant k so here they have given the time and the concentration is provided so if you see the graph first look at the graph I'm just hiding these number first look at the graph so let look at the graph is its y-axis value is natural log of the pressure of CS3 and C which is increasing from 0 to 5.2 so this these values are given in natural log <coughs> value and then time is increasing from left to right so they want to calculate the k so we can calculate the k by the slope by calculating the slope of this graph so slope of the graph we can choose any two point right now in this graph they we have choose these two points and then find out what is the y-axis value and subtract those values then divide by change in time over these two points so we can write the slope like 4.0 this is the 4.0 minus 4.5 4.5 so later concentration minus initial concentration the same way later time minus initial time 20,000 second minus 10,000 second so once you will do the math of this number you will get minus 5 time 10 is of minus 5 and here you can see this is the natural log value so these are the number and uh, time will is given in the second so here we'll write second so time will come in the minus 5 time 10 is power 5 so this minus and minus will be cancelled from here so k value you will get in 5 times 10 s power minus 5 second inverse so this is the rate constant so if you know the rate constant we can also use this value to get the half life of the reaction so for the previous problem slide what was the half life same question we have chosen these two points which was uh, this one and this one so 4.5 and 4.0 so k we know and we have seen in the previous video that this is the relationship between the t half and k which is t half is equal to 0 0.693 divided by k so we can place the value of k in this equation 5.0 times 10 is minus 5 second inverse and once you solve this equation 0 0.693 divided by 5.0 times 10 is minus 5 you will get answer that 1.4 times 10 is 4 second this second inverse will become second so we can say that uh, this would be because t half means time so time have a unit second and whenever we will take a second inverse we can also write like this one 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 over second inverse so basically once you will this second will go on the top numerator place this will become second so inverse sign will be gone so let's take one more example how to solve the question for first order react reaction the first order rate constant for the decomposition of a certain antibiotic in the water 
एट ट्वेंटी डिग्री सेल्सियस इज वन पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव सेक ईयर इनवर्स इफ अ सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टाइम टेनस ऑफ माइनस थ्री मोलर सोल्यूशन ऑफ एंटीबायोटिक इज स्टोर्ड एट ट्वेंटी डिग्री सेल्सियस वट विल द कंसनट्रेशन आफ्टर थ्री मंथ सो दिस इज क्वेश्चन इज लाइक लुक लाइक वी हैव सम मेडिसिन फार्मास्यूटिकल मेडिसिन एंड देन वी वॉन्ट टू स्टोर one solution for our research and uh, how long it will take what is the what will the concentration they mean after 300 3 month so whenever see any question i have seen explain in previous law also that you have to first draw the conclusion that what are the information is given in the question so here you can see the first order rate constant is given which is k is equal to 1.65 time 1.65 year inverse temperature is given 20 degree celsius initial concentration if this concentration was stored right so this is the initial concentration a0 6.0 time to minus, minus 3 molar now what they are asking what is the concentration after 3 month so this is the time is given 3 month and what they are asking at at they are asking concentration of after 3 month so here you can see one thing that uh, time for the is given in the 3 month and the year the rate constant is given in inverse year inverse so we will convert this time 3 month into year it would be always better to convert time into the same unit as you are using in the rate constant do not change the rate constant unit change only the time unit which is given to you so we know that 3 uh, month 12 months are in one year this is the our conversion 12 months equal to one year so how many month will be equal to for how many year will be equal to in 3 month so 3 divided by 12 1 by 4 it will be like 0.25 year so now everything is perfect we figured it out all the units now we have to plug all the val values into our first order reaction equation which is natural log at minus kt plus natural log a0 so once you will extend this one <coughs> we will place all these values basically in the question they have given initial concentration which is 6.0 time to minus minus 3 molar and uh, yeah in this equation basically you have to place all these values k inverse time 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 cancel once you solve this one you will get the natural log so once you get the natural log of this at you have to take anti log of this one e natural log at then once you will take anti log of this one then you will get the final answer so in the first e equation first order equation always you will get the answer first in natural log at then you have to take the e and i have shown you how to calculate the e in the log table log video so you can review that one this is very important then once you know the natural log answer you have to convert into e or take exponential or take anti log of that one then you will get the final concentration